How's it going everybody? It's Red Rome here. So today we're going over the Arcane Mage. We're going over talent, stats, rotation, and burst. Let's do this. First talent tier, 100% of the time, you want to pick Arcane Familiar. I see Words of Power becoming a lot better later on in the expansion, but right now Arcane Familiar is the way to go. Summons a Familiar against you, 10% increased mana, so it's too good to pass up right now. 30 talent, you want Shimmer, Cauterize, or Cold Snap, but honestly, Shimmer is the way to go. Shimmer is really good. Teleports you 20 yards forward unless something's in the way, unaffected by global cooldown, and castable while casting. So I'll show you what it does real fast. I'm going to cast Arcane Blast. Shimmer. Still casting it. Arcane Blast. Shimmer. Still casting it. So it really gives you some freedom to move around and cast, and gets you out of situations where you don't need to be, and it also doesn't penalize your damage. Now let's go over 45 talent tier. Rune of Power or Encanter's Flow. Encanter's Flow is for your movement spots where you have to move a whole lot and you really can't stay stationary. Rune of Power is really good when you can't afford to be stationary or you feel like you need to get as much damage as possible out of this talent. Increases your damage by 50% while you stand in it and 8 yards outside of it. And it has 2 charges, only 40 second recharge. Now let's go over 60 talents. Supernova or Renaissance. Renaissance is really good for cleaving. Arcane Barrage deals 25% damage per target it hits. Supernova is really good, 25 second cooldown, does a huge amount of damage, and the target that you have targeted that you cast on will take 100% increased damage. And that's really good for a lot of, you know, AoE damage, so pretty much I would just choose this one. Let's do 75 talent. Ice Flows pairs super good with Shimmer, helps you cast on the move so you don't get penalized for it, and you can also do damage while moving, and you can afford to move in situations where you feel like you can. Now let's go over 90 talent. Nether Tempest or Unstable Magic. Unstable Magic's pretty good, but honestly, for single target and AoE for right now, Nether Tempest is the way to go. It scales well with your arcane charges, 75 well 72% increased damage per arcane charge. So this thing's gonna be hitting really hard. And it also spreads from a single target to an AoE because it sends out these volleys pretty much. And it hits all the enemies around the primary target. So it's really good. Let's go over hundred talent. Quickening, you need to pick this 100% of the time. Haste is really good for us, and this gives you like a passive haste buff. And pretty much Arcane Blast, Arcane Missiles, and Arcane Explosion also grant 2% haste for 6 seconds, stacking up to 100 times. That's crazy. You won't ever reach 100 times, you run out of mana. But this effect is cleared when you cast Arcane Barrage. So you can just easily rebuild it back up. Arcane Orb can see some action, but honestly, just go with Quickening right now. Okay, let's go over our stats real fast. Crit, you want as much crit as possible, followed by Versatility haste then mastery and you're wondering why why is mastery last mastery right now scales super bad does not give anything really you could have like 50 percent mastery and it barely gives you anything in return so crit you want those big numbers you want to double your damage and so forth versatility flat out damage increase and haste you don't really want to worry about too much because of quickening so Haste is really okay, but stick with crit and versatility for right now. Now, everybody loves to burst, so let's go over your bursting rotation. What you want to do, build up four charges as soon as you can. So, cast four arcane blasts. And while you're at four charges, lay down a rune, arcane power. Cast an arcane blast. Do Mark of Luneth, artifact ability. Do Nether Tempest, Supernova. There you go. Arcane Familiar, you want to have active 100% of the time. My guy's name's Fred. Fred helps me out a whole lot. He deals damage for me, as well as helps me out with my mana. And people also freak out with Arcane, you know, since it spends a whole lot of mana, they're afraid they're going to run out. Well, don't worry. You have this talent or this pretty much this ability called evocation. It's a 1.5 minute cooldown, returns 100% of your total mana over 5.4 seconds. And if you're like, well, I gotta move, I can't, you know, cast this, I can't stand still, I'm gonna lose a lot of damage and so forth, or you really need to get out of situation, just, you know, cast it, shimmer, back, ice flows, and start casting again. You have such mobility with this spec with those two talents, so it helps out a whole lot. Okay, let's go over one last thing. Mark of the Lunith. This is our brand new ability for Arcane. It comes with an artifact weapon. You do not want to cast this unless you have four Arcane charges. Now it gets buffed with those charges along with Rune of Power and Arcane Power. Hope this guide helped you a whole lot. Remember to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to. 
And if I missed anything, please let me know down below. But until then, see you guys next time.